Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we shall see the first boot initial setup of the Vivo V9. This is the Vivo V9 and I have made several videos of this mobile phone and in this video we shall see how you uh, have to first boot first time when you power on what are the steps that you encounter on this Vivo V9. So I've uh, been doing a lot of videos so stay subscribed to my channel and hit that like button if you find this video helpful. So let's go ahead and power on the mobile for the very first time so then it will boot if you don't see this startup screen just plug in the charger and charge it for a while and then you can turn on the mobile this is what you get vivo camera and music and let it load and it will ask you to set up your phone so here's the screen fun touch os is what you get on the vivo v9 it is the vivo's custom user interface with uh, Android's 8.1 Oreo. So this is the welcome screen. Just tap on the set up your phone and here you get to choose the uh, various language and accordingly you can choose of your choice. So right now we will set up in English. Just tap on it and uh, in the region side you select India of course. So agreement and terms just have to agree there is uh, no way that you cannot uh, agree it so here's the network part if you are have the wi-fi or other network connections uh, i would suggest i would recommend you to set up the wi-fi for the very first time itself uh, so that uh, whatever the updates uh, you get in the following screens it will automatically update and it will be good uh, that you have the internet connection otherwise you can always tap on this skip button so it will uh, skip this network part later on you can again set up this so right now i have uh, my network here i'll just tap on it and i will connect giving my password here so once it connects to the internet it will check for the google account if you have any so i suggest you open a google gmail account uh, if you don't have otherwise if you have you just uh, tap on this email or uh, your phone number and you can just log into the gmail account that's what i'm going to do right now if you don't have any gmail account you can just tap on the skip button and later on you can set up that as well so once you have logged into your uh, gmail account it will ask uh, if you want to store backup on the google drive so you can tap on that if you want if you want them to help find your location you can just enable it improve your location accuracy uh, for now i won't enable it because it consumes a lot of battery as well because a lot of applications will be running based on uh, uh, google there so if you don't want to send your system data just disable it and uh, after all you have done this go to the last page and th then tap on the next button so when you tap on next if you have a vivo account you just log into their account as well i have uh, my account open on the vivo so i'll just log in and come back to you so once you have logged into your vivo account uh, you need to set up your fingerprint as well as face so let's uh, for now set up the fingerprint and see how you can set up and how fast it is if you don't want to set up as of now you can always tap on that skip button so let's just uh, set up the fingerprint so in order to do that first you have to set up any password or pattern uh, that's the security so just we will confirm a pattern and after that you have to enter two questions what was the name of your primary school and what was the name of your best friend in childhood i'll just enter it and come back to you so after you have entered the uh, questions so you need to place your finger which is located on the rear end side this is the fingerprint keep tapping your finger just like this in all the direction so that uh, whenever you want to unlock your device comfortably you just can hold it like this so just keep on tapping and once it is done it will say done and just tap on ok now what you have to do is to if you want to join their user experience improvement program you can join that they will collect your data if you don't want them to collect your any data just turn it off like this and if you want to share your location you can enable or disable allow the system to use the permission you can just give the allow it or disable it if you want to let the vivo automatically upgrade your system every now and then if there is an update you can always use this smart upgrade and what happens is when you put the sim card it will either use the mobile data or the wi-fi so that's how it is done just tap on next and boom you are good to go now congratulations your phone has been set up just tap on use now we should be on the home screen right now so this is the home screen of the vivo v9 so right off the bat i can see that uh, large icons than other phones and you have got the notch if you just tap down you will get the search function from here and if you want to see the notification just 
uh, swipe down like this you will see the notifications uh, all notifications located here if you want to remove them just tap on this and all the notifications will go off and from the bottom you get the control center which is uh, what they call so here's the brightness you can always use the auto brightness setting if you want to do that and uh, here's the speaker media volume and only one speaker is located on the bottom and let's ju quickly jump to the about phone and see what system what uh, uh, we are running here so inside setting tap on this more setting and you have the about phone over here so this is the model number and we are running at 4 gb version of ram and the android security patch level is here this is the 8.1.0 oreo android version this that is what it is running so this was brief uh, first boot i hope this video helped you boot your mobile for the first time if yes please hit that like button and do subscribe uh, to my channel i've made a lot of videos about the vivo v9 already go check that out guys and hopefully you'll stay with me so see you all in the next one till then take care everyone bye bye